we have a good, really good um, record. That's the one I'm looking for. Uh, record against Bristol Palace. We have uh, won probably our last four matches, I think it was. They are in fairly good form. We're in good form. Uh, we just beat Leicester and Newcastle, 3 1 and 3 0. Uh, we are sitting pretty. Sit, sit in pretty. I've forgotten how to speak proper. Uh, sitting pretty in second. If a win takes us one point behind uh, Man City, there's no way we can overtake Man City in Goldman's. But we've actually got quite close to Man United in Goldman's, which is really quite exciting. Um, yeah, very exciting. I'm not sure why I'm playing this today because I'm fairly fed up with the idea of football at the moment, considering the twats in charge of uh, Reading Football Club. Uh, I think they're here. Where are they? Staff. Uh, where do I get to see the board? Board. Um, where are they? I want to see their names. They deserve to have their names. There we go. Idiot. Idiot. Don't really care. Idiot. Who the hell was that? Because they've sacked Brian. And they're fucking idiots for doing so. I and mean, what are they apps actually expecting him to have done in this season? I, I've... I've well done for completing your intensive anger course. I'm just shocked, staggered by their work, how they think that this is some way to run a football club. We're becoming Leeds or Charlton or Blackpool. Clubs that I've happily laughed at because of how stupid their owners are, how they just get rid of managers left, right and centre as if they think that's going to do something. It never does. And now we've joined that, the ranks of the idiot clubs who... For three, they've sacked three managers in 17 months. I think John Medeci sacked or had five managers in 22 years. That's what it's about. You get a manager, you stick by them for a length of time and see what happens. You don't chop and change every six months because you're never going to get anywhere. Christ, they're... I just... Words cannot express how angry I am at the ties right now. They followed on from the dickhead Russians who didn't have any money to ties who don't understand what a football club is, or never had any interest in football, and think this is the way they're run. Uh, and they've got some ex-school teacher to take charge and run things, it would seem. Uh, don't know why. Don't know what he's got that makes him uh, qualified to run a football club. We've lost McDermott. Hammond's gone. Nigel Howe must be quaking his boots, because he'll be gone soon, and there's nothing left. Absolutely nothing left from how the club has been run for the last umpteen years, when it was fairly successful until they started chopping and changing every six months. Maybe they should look back at history and see that, you know what, Reading were quite good when they had decent men managing, like Steve Koppel or Brian McDermott, or even Alan Pardew, who was decent until he wasn't. And with, not superstars, but solid players who work together and they're greater than some of their parts, Maybe they should look back at that and think, you know, that, that worked really well. They got to the Premier League twice. Oh, in fact, we've even got one of those people in charge right now. Maybe we should see if that can carry on as it was. But no, because they know better. League One beckons next year. Especially the, you know, going for Yap Stam as manager. By the time this goes out, you probably know who, manager, who the manager is. If it's Yap Stam, I mean, Christ. Maybe... A championship club in freefall is not necessarily the place to, or the time or the place to hire someone who doesn't have any managerial experience at all above under 21's level. Maybe. Dunno. That's what I'd go with. But apparently, yeah, they'll probably think quite differently. Um, so yeah, I'm packed off. Massive time. Big time. I'm angry. Oh, 16 goals for Fiesta. Yeah, that's good. We didn't have anyone who scored a lot of goals last season. Um, that's all fine. Uh, do you want to bring Keane back in? Probably. Uh, Lindelof. 6.92. You've been better. Or oh, some plenty is obviously injured. Uh, let us play. Oh, I am so angry. So angry. It's just embarrassing. It's never good to be embarrassed to em, embarrassed to be a supporter of the team you support, is it? Now I know how Leeds fans must feel. Because it must be embarrassing to be a Leeds fan with Celino in charge, with all his fucking around with managers and not sacking them and actually sacking them and new manager every week. Oh, 
Goodbye. Right, let's not concede straight away, please. Well done, Tarek. Uh, can Corey get there? We're actually playing quite attacking formation against a team who are up there. We did against Newcastle and we uh, won that one quite well. Oh, I thought Vieto was going in there. Uh, Bidwell's a pretty good player. Uh, Rodriguez offside. Fine. Yeah, if we win, we're within a point again. We're still in. We're still in the dis um, conversation, the discussion. But oh, well done, Vieto. I've just heading it back in, trying again and again and again and again. We've got in the end. Vieto scored seventeen. He's, he's, he's done well. I'm impressed by him. He's been scoring some goals. Uh, that is put us up to sixty-six points. Go that somehow. Man United have taken like one point from their last uh, three matches, and we've now managed to open up an eight point gap. That would make sense because I would have won my last three matches and they would have dropped eight points. That's one more point. Uh, so, yeah, that's eight because we were 11 on points. So, it's amazing how things, how quickly things can change around. I just don't see it happening for Man City. I just can't see them losing ground or that much, the amount of ground they would have to leave. Uh, okay, this is a poor. Poor thing. Well, there's a break from our sloppy for a sloppy pass from us. Carrillo, Rodriguez. Wow, that was a miss. Yeah, that was poor from us to give them the chance. Yeah, I just don't see Man City. They have some hard matches left. They beat Man United actually in the last match, one 0 which is disappointing. Because I hoping for a draw or a, actually a United win. But yeah, it's I just can't see them dropping points, or at least I can't see them dropping more points than me. I have a feeling we're going to finish a disappointing second this season. Uh, and we're in no other competition, so that's all we've got left. See how it goes. For, uh, we've had four shots and note, five shots overall. We only had 45 minutes percent, uh, percent, percent possession, which is a bit strange for us. Cook. Uh, flicked it to Fosu. Cook still got it. At some point, Cook, you might have to actually bite the bullet and have a shot. Correa. Oh, that was nice. That was a very good goal from Correa, who's done the Usain Bolt celebration. Fifth goal of the season. Uh, that's good. Uh, we, we've actually got the same goal difference now as United, considering how far behind we were at one point. But those 14 goals to Man City is just too far. I mean, if we, ca if we catch up with their goal difference, then we will have exceeded them in terms of points. There's no way that in what nine matches we can catch that much gold and it's up in terms of just by winning games more than by more goals than they win games that's not going to happen okay second half 2-0 it's good solid uh we got Lewis Cook 6.7 might have come off uh Canales not played particularly well maybe we do want to get rid of Canales at the end of the season I don't know it might be exciting to bring another attacking midfield but at the same time I like the fact we've got a settled team this is basically the same team that we had last season. But with Lindelof and uh, Palencia, who are both not playing right now. All the players playing now were with us last season. And they've just taken that step up. And I think maybe that's a good way of going. Once you get to the level I'm at now, is you know, obviously you have, to, you have to do a lot of signings to get up to kind of top four level but we're at top four level now so maybe the, the key is to go with just one or two every season just to replace the odd player up it a bit Canales okay he's a pretty good player maybe we don't want to get rid of him that was a stonking finish that wow that was past Kim Sung before he even noticed that was poor defending by this guy though that was some finish. Yeah, Otto, Giotto, was... Is it... I don't, is it Johnny Otto? I don't see an Otto there, but they got an Otto playing. Uh, or Zyka? Don't know. But yeah, it was poor, poor defending by him to play Canales on side, I think. Robertson, Cooper, Cook. Roberts. So in these last two matches against Crystal Palace and Newcastle, who are... You know, challenging, uh, not in the top three, but challenging for fourth place. We have um, pretty much destroyed them. Beat Newcastle three 0 We're beating Palace three 0 That's quite exciting. Fabio Cardoso's coming for the Zyka. Uh, what changes do we want to make? Uh, well, Cook is looking a bit knackered, so 
Aaron Cool. Uh, other than that, maybe one of these two. Which one? Doesn't really matter, but could go both. And we could give uh, Galas a run out. He's superb. He's happy. But I'm a little bit concerned I'm not playing him enough. But uh, Vieto is scoring the goals at the moment, so there is that. Ah, oh, Kim Sung Gui. Or Gyu. I didn't see the Gyu here, just Kim Sung. Uh, where are you going? You're going to pass it to Rodriguez. That's, that's well done. Um, Trippier, do you want to possibly tackle him? Uh, well, you've, he's gone inside to Abdullah. Abdullah has gone to Pulisic. To Benikafobi, who oh, it's a good save. And Paulson, that's well blocked by Robertson, I think it was. Uh, yes, it was Robertson. I would like to keep another clean sheet, if it's at po all possible, please. And thank you. We've only had six shots. They've had more shots than us. They've had actually more possession away from... And we're at home. That is quite a surprise. Especially given we're playing this formation. But there we go. Such is life. Goal difference. We can get some more. Of course, that would be helpful. So, 4-0. Are we down to 13? 12? We're down to goal difference of just 12. But again, I think it's impossible to catch up that kind of goal difference without catching up in terms of points. So... It's a bit of a misnomer, but the fact we, we're now ahead of United is exciting in goal difference-wise. Goal difference -wise. And it might be interest, might be useful at the end, but again, eight points. If they overtake us in points, they'll probably overtake us in goal difference anyway, because it's still quite close. Uh, can we get a fifth? Uh, it looks like the end of the um, match. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Tarek Fossu was man of the match. Fight. Not really noticing him doing anything. Uh, passionate. Uh, very happy with the result. Victory, fantastic. You wouldn't get that with the ties in charge in real life. We'll play Man City next. Oh, that's going to be a big one. I'm guessing... Oh, we've paid Sampdoria 1.7 million for Correa because he's uh, scored 10 league goals. Uh, oh, another 1.7 for 50 appearances. Um, yeah, Man City next. That's quite scary. That's It is a big match. If we lose, I reckon it's over. If we win, we're in a good position. If we draw, then... You know, all bets are off. We're still in it. We'll see how it goes. Lost, lost, drawn, lost, drawn. If we get a draw, a draw looks possible and... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hope for that. Right, it's time to pick the England squad for the World Cup qualifiers. This is called... I kind of asked... I, I accepted the whole uh, automatic thing. Uh, and I'll kind of work with it there. Ben Garrett. Um, I don't... Pff. I'm going to say no. Uh, I also don't feel the need to bring this many strikers. Callum Wilson hasn't had a cap. He's 29 years old. Um, he's scoring goals, though. So. Berahino is scoring goals. Harry Kane is kind of scoring goals. And uh, obviously no Corley Woodrow scoring many goals for England. So honestly, I don't I don't see the need to bring four strikers. Uh, I don't see the need to bring Callum Wilson. So what I will be doing is sticking with our friend. Where is he? Oh, he's injured. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, you're back in then. Actually, where's Jonathan Bond playing at the moment? He is at Everton, he's not playing. So, so no, you're out for two, three days. Can see a lot of goals. Okay, you're not fit, so you will be you. And given how good Callum Gribbon's been playing, I would like to have him. Basically, I think he is now my first choice. Uh, you 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 need a rest, so I'm gonna go for you. But you, um, national team, got England squad. So I've got Sterling, Roberts. I oh this is tough. It is tough because old um thingy. Chaloba did really well in the last match. So I've got Henderson. 
One, Henson and Cook, Ali and Hughes. Then I've got Robert Sterling, Gribbin, Oxlade Chamberlain. Okay, no, we'll do that. That's fine. I think that's that's good enough. We'll see. I do like having um, Gribbin in. Uh, lads, confident gives me every reason to think we're going to get do well here. We, we do not do well against them. Uh, we'll find a way through. Brilliant manager. No comment about Jose. Manchester United manager now. Uh, reputation for favourite uh, direct style. No comment. Don't want to piss him off. Uh, confident as long as we stick to our game plan. Uh, Grealish seeks assurances. Um, uh, have you not been playing regular first team football? Surely you have. Uh, how do I form? Yeah, you kind of have been. But it's not been great. Um, you, you can get... You're not... You, you have the resty thing. Uh, you as well. We'll keep them happy. But at the moment, I'm quite happy with what I've got. Our previous meetings with Man City have not gone well. Let's put it that way. But they got... We're out Guy and De Bruyne. So that's good. Uh, I don't care about any other matches because... Uh, look at them. We've actually never beaten them. We've never beaten them. Uh, right, we're going defensive. Of course we're going defensive. <laughs> Although, like... The uh, definition of insanity. We keep doing the same thing and we keep losing. Expecting... So, meh. But we'll give it a go. Uh, so, Cook and... Besic. That way around, yes. Um, probably Sarabia. Vieto has been scoring goals, that's good. Gribbin and Correa. Where's Correa gone? Over there. Oh, we probably could do a Cooper on the bench. Cool, that will do. That will do. We're going to submit that team. We're going to play defensive. Uh, we're going to see if we can get a draw. If we get a draw, I think we can win the league. If we lose, I don't think we can. If we win, we're on. Because uh, of we've got an easy run in, they have a slightly harder run in, I think. But they don't look like losing against anybody, to be honest. Uh, we've lasted we've lasted the initial highlight. That's always a start. We lasted five minutes. That's a good start. Uh, it might just be five minutes. Pjanic, two Semedo, two Sterling, two Sarabia, who just hoofed it up. Oh, Vieto is working the channel nicely. He has scored goals from positions like this before. Roberts, this is good. Uh, that's really poor attempt to attack by Digne. Back post Vieto. Holy shit, we've scored a goal. Um, wow, Patrick Roberts, ninth goal of the season. Goal against his form team. Oh yeah, I forgot I bought them from in from Man City. Um, wow, wow, we're winning. Uh, interesting ball by Trippier. Great header back across by Vieto. And um, I don't know what Hart was doing, but Roberts coming at the back post, bootiful. I've gone all Bernard Matthews, Turkey. They're bootiful. Bootiful goal. Okay, we have got to 10 minutes. That's good. Can we get to 15? I feel like I'm watching a cricket match here where you kind of work, work through overs and runs. Um, oh, my God. Maybe, maybe today's our day. <laughs> maybe today is our day. Where are you going, Roberts? Where are you going, Roberts? Where are you going, Roberts? Can you pass the ball? Well, that ball? It's a good ball. Yeah, maybe today is our day, because I don't know how that didn't go in. I don't know how Deli Alley is winning headers from corners. Mind. Um, Deli Alley, what is your heading like? 11. You've never really come across as the aerial kind of guy. But there we go. <laughs> You're still winning headers against my team. Dennis Suarez is... Um, 6.9, 6.8. Sterling's playing well. We've had one shot on target. It is our goal. I don't think we change a thing. Unless we concede. Which is highly likely. If we could get to half time at 1 0, I'd be most pleased. But. Trippier, what are you doing? Yeah, Ponson going to miss from there. That is terrible defending. Trippier. Why can't we just. Why do you have to give them goals? 
And who are you? Who are you? Lindelof and Keane, why is nobody marking Pons? I think he's quite a good player. I think you might want to mark him. But, okay, we're at one all. A draw is fine. Draw is fine. Maybe we can get a second. Vieto? Oh, we have! <laughs> we got a second. Um, okay. Yeah, fine. Good. Lovely. I'll take that. That's a really bad... This is really bad marking. Who was that? Pjanic. Why have you got Pjanic marking my striker? Don't know. But Roberts and Vieto have now both got an assist and a goal each. That's always nice. Uh, can we get to half-time? <laughs> no. It doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, if we can get to half-time, that'd be great. If Robertson can win the header, no. Lindelof, don't do anything stupid. Okay, Roberts, that's good. That's good. Cook, that's good. Back to Roberts, that's fine. That's lovely. Can you do something stupendous? Like... <gasps> My... That was a beautiful goal. That was a gorgeous goal. That was a delicious goal. That was an amazing... What a finish. Roberts and Vieto have been on it in this match. Lovely ball past Stones. And that finish is delightful. We're winning 3-1 against Man City here. We're top of the league. I think we're going to win the league, guys. Uh, but what's more is it's a good chance that they're not going to be able to score. Maybe we can at least get the draw. Which, after all, if we can... Um, I was about to say, if we can keep it at 3-1, then I reckon we can get the draw. But we got a 4-1. I We've got the draw now. We have got that draw. I know we're winning 4-1, but we're playing Man City. We've never beaten them. I'm being pessimistic. I think we can get a draw out of this match. I think we really can. Hat-trick for Vieto. 20 goals. We had, didn't have anyone getting double figures last year. So to have someone at 20 is pff, exciting. Uh, very good. Uh, you looked like Lindelof's not played well. I hope that doesn't come back to haunt us. Lindelof not playing well. Trippier, Cook, Roberts. Sarabia is playing, I presume. We got other players playing apart from Roberts and Vieto, I presume, somewhere. I haven't really noticed. Uh, we can get to 50. We can get to 50. 50. Can we get to 60? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Come on. Don't do this to me. Don't. I love how I'm nervous at 4 1. I am so worried about 4 1. Sterling. Oh, we got it out. That's good. The longer we can keep it at 4-1, the longer I'm convinced we're not going to capitulate. Besic. Vieto. I mean, of course, if we could somehow get 5-1, I'd be more happy. Uh, it's corner, which will be taken by Sarabia. It's not a good corner, straight to the near post. But they didn't break from it. We've conceded a lot of goals, or almost conceded a lot of goals from our own corners. So the fact they didn't... Uh, is good. Lindelof not played well, but I don't really want to change it because we only conceded one goal. We might we might go get rid of Cook and bring on somebody for the legs. Aaron Cole maybe. Suarez. We've got 60 minutes without conceding. Oh! Wow. Great save by Rykovic. Yeah, I reckon I want to bring in Cool. Because he's a little bit knackered. Other than that... Cooper. I am going to do it because Lindelof's played so badly. And I think another big guy in the air is going to be very useful. Because they, they're they going to throw stuff at me. I'm also considering whether... I mean, we've got five now, so it doesn't really matter. This whole goal difference difference thing, uh, you know how I was saying... <laughs> We're never going to get close with similar amounts of games played. You're only four behind now. Hmm. That's now possible. This is ridiculous. I'm... Yeah, if we go Fosu... With that pace... Did I do it? Can't, did I not do it? Did I do something silly? I think I made a mistake. Oh yeah, I picked cool, so I was playing cool on the left wing. Which is not really his position. Uh, but yeah, that pace against a tiring defence. Maybe we get six. That would be greedy. 
I agree, but I'm happy you have this four, because that would take me within two in goal difference terms. They put on Hapsbury on company. They've been so bad, they brought on a geriatric company. You must be, what, 37? Oh, th oh, 34. Not bad. Still paying a lot of money. Come on, keep it at one. Don't let them... Oh, no. I mean, we've still got that three goal cushion. So I'm confident we can get a win out of this now. But I was quite excited by the goal difference difference that we were, you know, getting back. No. No, 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 no. No. Apparently it was Sarabia who's making everything tick because I've taken it off and now things are going wrong. Things are going wrong. Things are going very... Oh, good save. Very wrong all of a sudden. Adelaide. Oh, well done. Well done, Robertson. It's good defending. Ten minutes. Three goals. I'm okay. I think we can do this. Five minutes. Three goals. It's getting ridiculous for them to get back, but I'm still... We've never beaten them, so I'm concerned. <laughs> it is stupid how concerned I am, actually. Um, I still believe it's possible for them to score three goals after the final whistles have gone. Uh, my God. That was really special. That was amazing. Um, but you top, do you think you can make the spot your own? Absolutely. Yes, we're top. We just beat Man City. 5-2. Holy shitballs. Uh, lowest teams in the league for fouls and cards awarded. Uh, happy to me the players are less likely to be unavailable to suspension. Top of the league. Uh, it's a nice place to be at the stage of the season. It gives us a very reason to think we can possibly... We could really... We could win the title here. Uh, Hattrick. Tremendous. Reflecting the goals he scored. Um, quite the round of form away from home. Great. Early goal. Always bonus helps on our way. Gone a bit, little while yet. Overconfidence. No, it's a good thing. Um, I thought we played very well. It's very satisfying to say that. Uh, seriously. Seriously, we are... 20 goals is not something... In good form. In good form. After that loss against Chelsea, I was really worrying we are going to get in a bit, a bit of a wobble. A bit of a wobble. We didn't get it. We haven't got it. We've had now won four games in a row, three of which have been against top five teams. So, that's good. Uh, United have drawn again. Chelsea drew. Tottenham drew. Arsenal lost. So, it really is just me and Man City. Uh, who's injured? Berahino is out. Pick replacement. Um, do I need another striker? Can Ross Barkley play as a striker? No. So you're not really playing much, are you? No, you're not. So it's going to be Callum Wilson, wasn't it? Maybe I go back for Callum Wilson. Or. Not Daniel Sturridge. How is Grealish? He does need a rest. And can't play up top. So. No, we're going to go with Callum Wilson. National team. Quad to England squad. Good luck to you, sir. You're probably not going to play. But you've got a chance, maybe, possibly. 